One of the opportunities that I've been looking into, particularly in the past couple of weeks, is LLM text files. So I want to talk today about why I think this is essential for every business to look into and how to go about doing this. So quick background, LLM text files really started out back in November of 2024. Uh, it was an idea that was proposed and ultimately started to get rolled out pretty quickly amongst a whole bunch of different like developer documentation type platforms. LLMs pretty quickly hopped in. Many of them said, you know, within really just a matter of days, weeks, hey, we're going to start adopting this as a, a standard protocol for our LLM. So LLM text files are ultimately a, a pretty simple like text based file that makes it really easy for large language models like ChatGPT to understand what your website is all about. Now, right now, LLMs, specifically ChatGPT, make up a really small percentage of what I would broadly describe as the information discovery market share. So think of platforms like Google, Bing, any other search engine, group LLMs in the mix as well. LLMs are still a small part of that, very likely that percentage is going to grow pretty drastically over time, though. For search engines, we have this file called a robot text file that similarly gives search engines a whole bunch of context about how they should analyze your website, what pages they should not analyze, so on and so forth. The LLM text file operates similar to that, but I would describe it as really a dumbed down version of what your website is all about for the sake of LLMs. One exercise that I would highly recommend you do today, because it's going to help you to understand how you're doing in terms of positioning yourself to LLMs is to run this exact prompt that I have right here on my screen. This is specifically on ChatGPT. Use the search feature and ultimately just ask it to generate an LLM text file for your main domain. I'd also recommend putting this second sentence in the mix as well, asking it to note any sort of sections that are unclear on your website so that you can manually include this information for it later. So we ran through this exercise for our site. For our file, we're gonna be launching our new site soon. So we're actually gonna upload our LLM text file once we launch the new site and update some of the copy in here as well. But we see if we look through here, it's a pretty straightforward document. There's nothing groundbreaking in here. There's information about what our business does, information about our services, key features of our business, contact information for our business and some additional resources as well. Again, nothing crazy. When I look at this, I don't particularly like a lot of the elements that are added in here. Key features is just one section of text on our homepage that doesn't really describe the key features of our agency. Similarly, contact information. I'm pretty publicly facing with my email address, but probably should say hello at intergrowth.com instead. When we look in here, we can see a whole bunch of other resources that we can find on the website. What we'll find on there, that all looks great. What I found to be most interesting is the sections that ChatGPT highlighted that we didn't include or haven't made easily accessible to them. So check this out. Sections that require further information. Company mission and values. Detailed statement outlining Intergrowth's mission core values would provide a clearer understanding of the company's guiding principles. We have all this information on our website. On our About Us page, there's a whole bunch of information about our company values. There's a whole statement at our manifesto about how we started, what we believe in. But clearly, LLMs, or at least ChatGPT, doesn't understand that content yet. Similarly, team information, client testimonials, pricing structure, we're pretty in your face with our pricing. We don't hide our pricing. If anything, we make it really transparent how much our services cost. Client testimonials are slapped all across our website, whether you look at our homepage or our service pages. So all of this information exists on our website, but we can see that ChatGPT doesn't understand these specific elements on our site. For a human reader, they're intuitive. They can see the testimonials that are on our site. An LLM like ChatGPT currently can't with the way that we have it coded. So for us, the big opportunity that we're going to be rolling out is we can then take all this information and we can actually add it into this specific text input that we have in here, or we can similarly, like I did here lower in this chat thread, provide a whole bunch of information about our company mission and values, pricing structure, client testimonials, so on and so forth. And ultimately can share this with an LLM like ChatGPT and can get them to spit out this updated version of the document right in here we can download that as a text file, upload it to our site, 
and then have all this information accessible to LLMs in the future. So I bring this all up to say, one, run through this exercise. Give yourself a clear understanding of whether LLMs can like readily comprehend your website. And if they can't fully understand everything on your website, go through this exercise of putting together this specific text file and uploading it to your site. You know, granted, there are some CMS limitations. I've been trying to figure out how to upload this for Webflow sites specifically. I've read a whole bunch of support resources, have done a whole bunch of tests, haven't been able to figure out that one yet. But most other CMSs, you should be able to upload this text file like you would a robot text file on your site. 